Okay, so this will be my second example about piecewise functions as representation into real life situations. Basahin natin yung problem. It says, a jeepney ride costs 10 pesos for the first 4 kilometers. In each additional integer kilometer, adds 1.50 pesos to the fare. Use a piecewise function to represent the jeepney fare in terms of the distance d in kilometers. So sa problem na to, so ang kukunin natin dito is the function or the fare in terms of the distance traveled. So ibig sabihin, magkano ang kanyang babayaran kapa na F, ano, yung fare, uh, kapag uh, na, dis, na travel yung distance ay D. So ibig sabihin, ang hanapin natin, F of D. Okay? Nagawa tayo ng representation ng fare in terms of the distance d in kilometers. So, paano natin makukuha yon? Pag-aralan natin yung problem. Pag sumakay ka ng jeep, ang babayaran mo yung 10 piso. That is only for the first 4 kilometers. Pag lumampas sa 4 kilometers, ang iyong uh, pupuntahan, may additional kang 1.50 pesos sa bawat integer kilometer na natakbo ng jeepney. So, ibig sabihin, for additional integer, so, kung na-travel mo ay 2.5, additional 2.5 kilometers, so, kailangan yung integer lang nun ang gagamitin natin. Okay? Hindi kasama yung 0.5. So, therefore, we need to understand uh, the so-called greatest integer function for us to answer this problem. Ano ba yung greatest integer function? Ganito, ganito ang kanyang pagkakasulat. Ano? Greatest integer function is written in this form. Yan. Uh, yan ay tawag natin greatest integer function or Tinatawag ding floor function. So, yan. No? Ano pa? Ang ibig sabihin ng greatest integer na yan, the value of this, yan, okay? Yung greater in, uh, greatest integer of x is the largest integer that is less than or equal to x. So, yan, ha? Ibig sabihin, para makuha natin yung greatest integer of the number enclosed in this symbol, ako kunin lang natin yung less than or equal to x. Integer that is less than or equal to x. Ano bang mga integer? Tatlong types tayo, ano? We have the positive integer, we have the zero, and then the negative integer. So, ibig sabihin, ang mga integer natin tinutukoy dito is a negative integer, like this one, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, and negative 1. So, these are examples of negative integer. We have zero, and we have the positive integer, 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, etc., etc. So we have the negative integer, we have 0, and the positive integers. It comprises the integer, yung mga yan. Paano natin madetermine ang uh, greatest integer of a number? Halimbawa, kunin natin to. Let's say greatest integer of uh, 0. So, sabi dito, integer that is less than or equal to x. Our x here is 0. Okay? So, equal na to sa 0. Nakalagay kasi, integer that is less than or equal to x. This is an integer equal to 0. So, therefore, our answer is 0. How about 0 0.5? So, dapat, anong integer natin? 0 or 1? Ang sagot natin dito. So, zero. Kasi dapat less than. Integer that is less than or equal to x. Our x here is 
So, integer that is less than 0 0.5 is 0. Okay? How about 0 0.9? Still equal to 0. Okay? Yeah. Ganyan ang greatest integer. Okay? How about 1? So, what is the integer less than or equal to 1? Of course, 1. How about 1.5? Of course, still 1. Okay. How about negative 1? Still negative 1. How about negative 0.5? What is an integer less than negative 0.5 of course negative 1 okay how about negative 1.2 of course negative 2 okay and negative 2 the greatest integer of negative 2 is still negative 2 okay yan okay so ganyan ang ibig sabihin ng greatest integer function or floor function so, paano natin ito i-graph? Ano ba ang graph ng greatest integer function? So, we have 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. So, if, if x is 0, this is your f of x or this is your y. Okay? Okay. If x is 0, y is 0. So, naandito siya. Okay, if x is 0.5, y is still 0, so somewhere here. But if 1, if x is 1, the greatest integer of 1 is 1. So, ito. so if, if x is 0.9, is 0 pa rin. So, 0.99, the greatest integer of 0.99 is still 0. So, sa makatwid, hindi siya magre-reach dito. Hole siya. Okay, so ito yung graph ng ating isa no from 0 to 0.9 how about 1 to 2 1 y is 1 so naandito siya if x is 1.9 still 1 so naandito siya so 1.99 still 1 hold siya dito but if x is 2 y equals 2 Then we have here also a hole kasi ito ay 1, 2, 3. 2.99 is still uh, 2, ang greatest integer function. And the greatest integer of 3 is 3. So 1, oh sorry. Dito, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So somewhere here, ito. So ganito. So ganito ang graph ng ating. Uh, we have here a hole. So that is the graph of the greatest integer function. Okay? And remember the meaning of the greatest integer function. The greatest the value of the greatest integer of x is the largest integer that is less than or equal to x. Remember, integer that is less than or equal to x. Okay? And ang mabuti yan. Now, we are now ready to solve this problem because this problem, example number 2, involves about the greatest integer function. That's why, in-introduce ko muna sa inyo yung sinatawag natin greatest integer function. So, so we're going to determine f of d. Okay? That is the required of the problem. The reason why that I discussed first to you the greatest integer function Kasi magagamit natin dito sa problem na to. Kasi ang cost ng riding, ang pagsakay sa jeepney ay 10 pesos lamang. Pag ang na-distance sa travel ay 4 kilometers. At nadadag, nadadagdagan siya ng bayad ng 1.50 for every additional integer kilometer. So, for every additional integer kilometer lang, nadadagdagan ng 1.50. So, kapag ang na-travel mo ay, let's say, 5.5. Um, so, 5.5 kilometers. Yung 4, 
10 piso. Yung 1.5 kilometers, kung babayaran mo lang dyan, yung 1. Kasi for every additional integer kilometer lang. So that's why uh, we need the greatest integer function. Because the greatest integer function of 1.5 is 1 kilometer. So just simply 1. Okay? Yun siya. So, magagamit natin yung greatest integer function dito sa problem na to. So, f of d, diretso ko na, equals 10 pesos lang babayaran mo kapag ano, ah, uh, ang distance na na-travel mo is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 4 kilometers. Okay. Bakit meron ito? Kasi hindi ka naman, um, hindi ka sumakay ng jeep if your distance travel is 0. Okay? O kaya, sumakay ka ng jeep, then bumaba ka agad. Hindi ka naman siguro sisingilin na ng jeep ni driver. Okay? Kasi wala kang na-travel na distance. Okay. Ano yung isang condition natin? Kapag greater than 4 kilometers, 4 na lang, magkano'ng babayaran mo? Ay di 10 piso pa rin plus yung excess. Yung excess mo, mumultiply mo sa 1.50 kada integer kilometer. So we need, take a wait, uh, but we have to subtract uh, the distance travel D of the passenger to 4 kilometers for us to uh, find out the excess in kilometers so in excess in 4 kilometers na natakbo niya. <coughs> so therefore, we have 1.5 D minus 4 the greatest integer function of this. Yan. So kailangan natin. Try natin. <coughs> Let's say F of 5.5 kilometers. So, ang gagamitin natin to evaluate this function is this expression. Let's say more than uh, 4 kilometers ng takbo. So, that will be 10 plus 1.5 times the greatest integer function of D minus 4. So, that is 5.5 minus 4. So, that is 10 plus 1.5. We have here 1.5, the greatest integer of that. So, that will be 10 plus 1.5, greatest integer of 1.5 is 1. 1 kilometer lang. So, therefore, that will be 11.50 ang babayaran. Yung excess na 0.5 kilometer, hindi mo na babayaran yung ano lang, greatest integer of 1.5 which is 1 kilometer kasi nakalagi sa problem additional 150 ka lang for every additional integer kilometer so in excess of uh, na decimal value hindi mo nababayaran yun that's why we use the greatest integer function to solve problem number 2 so thank you By the way, this is our answer for number two. Thank you.